okay guys and today we are going to be pretty much learning about um, CSS colors so I apologize things have just been going on with things videos have been going out of order I should have done this video before my CSS symbol selectors video but I'm doing it now and hopefully you'll be able to understand what the video is about because I think you might have not been able to understand a couple of the properties that you understand in this video So we're just simply going to be talking about color names and there are simply four ways to talk about a color name. Each of them are going to be one video by itself but as of now we're going to be just pretty much learning about one of them and it's the simplest one and it's by the name itself. So there are four ways to express a color's name and then the first thing is obviously just the name of the color. Second is something called hex values, which is something I will talk about later. And then we got RGB values. And then we got HSL values. Those are the four ways we can express a color's name. For this video, we're just going to do the name of the color. So like, for example, we have like red, blue, etc. So once again, those are the four ways to express a color's name. So if you don't know already, I have a website at kidscoding.com. You can check out all the content I learned from there to here because that is just pretty much where I just post all my information so that you guys can understand it if you had any doubts on the video. Just to let you get that through your heads. But anyway, let's just get started with what we're doing. With those four values that I mentioned, I only use two. I mainly use the color name because that's the simplest. And I use hex values because I know a good website for you to find those. But um, RGB and HSL values, I'm not really good at them, but I will find out how I can do it and how I can express it in a video. But anyway, as of now, let's just get started. Um, so I'm just going to pretty much um, start with the first thing. And the first thing is the background color. So we're simply going to be using the color name and we're going to put it in several different into several different properties. So I'm going to start out with an H1 tag. And then I'm going to do a style. And then let's say I do the property, which is background color. And then colon. And then let's say what color? Red. Because red's my favorite color. And then let's end it with the semicolon. That looks good enough. Now let's end it. And then we can put whatever text we like. So I'm just going to do my name. And then we're going to do that. So now let's save it. Um, head over to Microsoft Edge. And then let's reload it. As you see here, it says Kids Code. Sometimes um, the text might not be able to read. So make sure your text is readable. If not, you will have to change the color by using the simple selectors, by using the CSS selector. So um, in case you do want to have a black background, but since the text won't appear, you're going to have to do something a little bit different. So we're going to start out with the style tag. And then we're going to do um, a heading one, whatever um, element you want. I'm going to go with heading one. And then after that, let's do an enter. I'm going to do background color. And by the way, I'm just showing you how you can change your text color along with the background color. So like if you have a black background color and the default text that Microsoft Edge has is black. So like they will blend together and you won't see the text. So here is how you can change it by its color. I just wanted to repeat that so you don't get confused. And then we have the text color, which is the property is just simply color. And then let's make that white. And as of there, I think we're good to go. We're done with the CSS. Now we have the HTML. Let me do a body. What happened? And then let's say H1. And then put whatever text we want. And then let's end that. And I think as of there, we are good to go. And then here, as you see, it became what we wanted. 
so then we can just simply um do what we're going to do next so that was kind of what we were planning on doing next but now we're just going to be learning about the text color so now we can just simply change the text color to whatever we want so pick an element i'm going with heading one i'm going to say style and once again i'm using the shorthand property because we're only using one property and one value this is when you use the shorthand property and then let's say color red and that's good and then let's say we put the text we want and let's end it and as of there we are good to go and let's reload it now you see it gives kids coding the text we wanted and it was put in red finally we can do the border color um i haven't done a video on borders yet which is what i'm planning to do so this is kind of a sneak peek once again so we're going to use the shorthand property again so i'm going to do heading one and let's say we do a style and then let's do border and then let's put a colon and then we're going to put how many pixels we want pixels determine how thick we want the border to be how bold and how thick we want the border to be so let's say we make it two pixels and let's say solid I'm gonna say solid red it's important you put the solid because you'll probably find out why soon but yeah, it's pretty important that you write the solid. And then we can close it from there, put the text we want, and then we can close it from there. And then when we reload, you see it gives a red border. So I said we need solid for a specific reason. And here's why. Because there's several different types of borders. Like we can do a dash border. And this is all in my borders video that I have planned. So stay tuned to that. And as you see, it gives a dash border. So we can do all kinds of borders. So a solid border is just simply a regular kind of border. And then we have the pixels. The pixels determine how bold it is. So if I did something like five, it made it more bolder. 10 makes it even more bolder. And then so on and so forth. and it makes it more bold. So the higher pixels you put, the more bolder the border is, the lower it is, then it's gonna be less, it's gonna be more like, um, what's the word for it? I don't know, but you, you get the gist. But yeah, that was just a pretty simple short video. That is how we use colors. I talked about one of the four ways we can express CSS colors, which was using the color name. So we pretty much learned a lot of stuff in this video. Um, we learned about CSS colors, and they can be done in four ways, once again, by the color name, which is what we did in this video. We used the HEX values, we used RGB values, and we used HSL values. Um, we, we used colors names to learn about three properties, color slash text color, background color, and border color. So that was just a summary of what we learned in today's video. So that is pretty much it. I'm going to wrap it up here. If you haven't done so, subscribe to the channel so I can reach 200 subs as fast as possible. We're all in this together. Check out my website at kidscoding.com and I'll see you guys next time.